When I first saw the video back in the summer of 2017, tears filled my eyes. My good friend Jesse Sanchez, a fellow reporter for MLB.com, had captured the moment when his seven-year-old son Mateo met all-star outfielder George Springer. How old do you think I am? 30 something? Come on, man. She's 30 something now, though. You're on something, son. I've known Mateo since birth, so I knew what it meant to him to cross paths with his baseball idol. He doesn't look up to Springer because of his athletic talent. He looks up to Springer because of the way he has learned to manage his stutter, a speech disorder Mateo also battles. This is a story about how George Springer used baseball to counter that condition. And how he passes his confidence on to a young kid finding his words and finding himself. <laughs> oh man, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's him, the baby boy. How would you describe Mateo? Like his personality, his interests, that sort of thing? Um, he's a fun loving kid, you know, tons of energy. He likes to joke around. Obviously, I'm biased as his dad, but you know he's a good kid. You play for the baseball team. Yes. Okay. What position do you play? Second. How old was Mateo when you started to realize he he had a, a stutter? Well, it was probably around three and a half years old or so. Stuttering has a neurological basis. It's like a cutoff man interrupting the flow of words. You have ideas, but you can't voice them. And that can make those who stutter become more insulated, more unsure of themselves. What we see sometimes is just the struggle to get the words out. And what happens is people make an immediate judgment on that person because he can't speak fluently. And I'm sure people, kids especially, can be we can be pretty cruel, I'm sure. Right. We need to allow him to express himself. We need to be more patient and just understanding that he's trying his best to get these words out. Mateo wanted to learn more about his condition. He found a list of celebrities who stutter. And as a big baseball fan, he was floored when he came across the name George Springer. I would first and foremost I'd like to thank the, uh, the Houston Astros for allowing me to have this opportunity. Anybody that knows me would say now I love to talk and I, I love to have fun and to enjoy myself and to show who I am. When I was a kid that wasn't the case. I pretty much would go full days without talking un unless I was around either my parents or my friends who, who I knew understood me. My college coach, he said, do you ever realize that you never stutter on a baseball field? Is that it? What do we get to? This field allowed me to relax and to calm down and, and to really understand myself and to know that I can be anything that I want to be. It's just, it's going to take me a little bit longer to say some stuff sometimes, and that's okay. And George is wearing a microphone and an earpiece for us out in the left. They asked if they could mic you up for the All-Star game. Why did you say yes to that? It just felt like it was something I had to do. This is an experience of a lifetime. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy to be here. Just to... I was representing everybody in the world that's had a stutter, everybody in the world that has a stutter. And, and it was like, you know what? If I can do it, somebody else can do it. Here was the star ball player succeeding with a stutter. For Jesse, working in baseball and raising a baseball loving son in need of a hero, this was a breakthrough. So in 2017, he asked Alex Cora, then the bench coach for the Astros, if he could get Mateo on the field for batting practice before a game near the family's home in Phoenix to meet his role model. The only problem? Springer wasn't on the field for BP. Jesse worried he had missed his moment. Alex Cora grabs my seven-year-old son by the hand. He's like, come on, guys, we're going somewhere. <laughs> to see my son's eyes light up. You know, when he saw George, you know, and it's just awe, right? The, 
the biggest th 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 thing ever. <laughs> I got all one. Yeah, what's up? Um, how uh, I like to do it. Okay, Um, well, truthfully, I, I still have it. I just saw a kid that I was, a kid that I had been in that position and knew and felt and understood exactly everything he was going through. I want you to promise me one thing, that you're not going to let it bother you. And you're going to have fun every single day and enjoy being a kid, because that's what it's about. He saw my son the way I see him, but also more intimately, because they were sharing an experience. Yeah. It was just really personal. It really impacted him. Not long after that, you know, Mateo started giving presentations on stuttering awareness. That's right. The kid who once retreated because of his stutter now put himself out there, all because George Springer gave him the confidence to do it. Some people that stutter is George Springer. Do you feel like your speeches have made an impact on those people? For sure, yes. We all as a family are extremely proud of him. He's a brave boy. Good job, buddy. <sighs> you know, a big portion of it comes back to the courage that Springer gave him. Six years after that meeting with Mateo, George Springer is now a Blue Jay. Mateo, that kid who needed George's help, now helps others understand how to be more patient and kind to those who stutter. He wears Springer's number four on the field where he chases his own baseball dreams. And when he runs into a problem related to his condition, his parents ask him, what would George do? George has become so important to the Sanchez family that Jesse wanted to reunite them to show Springer the impact he has made on his son's life. So for the first time since that day in 2017, they reconnected. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Give me a hug. Good to see you. Oh, man. You're big, didn't you? You're old now, too. I know. This is crazy. <laughs> you want to throw? Sure. Oh. Hey, that was a good one. Thank you. The last time we talked, heard a lot about it. That's that's awesome to hear. It's awesome to see. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like we talked about when you were seven, <laughs> right? Right. You just got to you just got to try. And I heard like, through the grapevine, I got a source. Uh, okay. Okay. That you gave a little presentation. In um. My gr grade in the, the whole grade? Yes. Wow. <laughs> oh, good for you, man. That's awesome. Does it make you feel good and to 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 spread your message and to let everybody know that you are who you are yes. and that you're extremely smart and can be anything that you want to be, right? It, good. Yes, sir. I like to hear that. Good to see you. Me too. You doing good? Yeah. 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 That little boy from the video has grown up a lot. It may be years before Mateo is as confident in his speech as George has become. But I know he's on the path to a powerful life. With Springer's help, Mateo has already turned a difficult diagnosis into an opportunity to educate others. What some would perceive as a weakness has made him stronger. You don't understand how much you help me. He is an example of patience and of perseverance, one that goes beyond words.